hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we're gonna learn docker host networking my last video was about docker bridge networking so docker host networking has its own advantages and as usual i will be doing a demo and we'll look at some important bullet points about docker host networking so let's jump right into it docker host networking configuration is available only on linux host it's not available on windows uh, or windows server containers using host networking will not get its own private space and i'm going to actually show you an example uh, where this is actually even more clear docker networking is mainly used when you need to optimize uh, your network performance between application like you know and between containers and when your containers need to handle large number of ports that's when you would probably have to use docker host networking uh, because when you use host networking there is uh, no need for these uh, address translations like network address translations and again you will see that uh, in the example so wait for my demo okay i'm here i'm going to uh, ssh to my ec2 instance first right so i'm not here so before i do anything let me check if the docker is up and running docker is running we don't have any containers running on this machine so and also i'm going to open another session for the same right. and switch to root so i have two sessions so the first thing i'm going to do is um, just show you the the basic network configuration before we start doing any a container creation actually right so initially we have a loopback network and then our eth0 which is our uh, the private network of the the vm which is an ec2 instance from aws so that's a private network and then docker0 is a is a virtual network that you get when you install docker actually right so this is the the default bridge network first i'm actually going to create a container uh, on bridge network and i want to do this because i want to show you uh, the difference between bridge network and host network and that will make uh, the concept very clear for you so so we just created this uh, first container and the name of which is bridge nginx and it's based on nginx image and I have mapped uh, the default 80 port of this Nginx web server to 8080 of the Docker host. My Docker host is a VM uh, or an EC2 instance that I created on AWS, right? Let me get the IP of my EC2 instance. So this is the IP and then I'm going to go to 8080. And then that actually takes me to the, the default static web page that comes along with nginx installation so we are able to access it and then i'm just using the public ip of my docker host remember this so that is something that is normally done so there's nothing it's not related to docker host at all uh, docker docker host networking at all um so what i want to show you is okay so we are able to do this now if I just do a IP address show you will see that like an extra virtual network has been created for uh, the the new container that I created right I created that on basically on the bridge network right it's a bridge network type and uh, but then a, a private virtual network was also created and another thing that I want to show you is if you do a docker uh, inspect and then the name of my container if you remember is inspect bridge network sorry bridge nginx 
you will see that like in this JSON output under network uh, it's of bridge type and then the IP address that was assigned to this container is once you know this 172.17.0.2 uh, which is basically the uh, a private IP for this container right so when you create a container and put it on the bridge network it's it's going to get a private IP that's what I wanted to show you here and also um, for I'm going to show you some uh, interesting uh, things that happen behind the scenes so here I'm going to create another container and that's actually so I'm going to call it uh, let's say my telnet container right and then it's based on busybox image it's, it's a popular image so let's go in there and then I'm going to do some telnet test right and if you look at the IP address show the private IP of this uh, this host is this guy because this this is the default private network of this host this VM so if I do a telnet and before we do telnet let's actually run one command called netstat minus tn right and you see you know it contains whatever right so this is the output that we have and it shows all the inbound and outbound uh, network um, sort of like network connections like TCP connections right so if I just do a telnet and then the private IP of this host and then remember I mapped it to 8080 and now the telnet session has been established and if I run the same netstat minus t and command, now actually we see two new connections, right? So one is actually uh, this guy, which is not present in the previous output, right? So this is the IP of this container, uh, this container right here. And if you want me to show that, it's basically Docker network and then telnet container uh, yeah docker inspect instead of network docker inspect so that shows like uh, the network details of that container and then IP address of that container is the 1703 right 172.17.0.3 so if going back to this I uh, want to make sure my telnet session is still up and act two so here we go so you can see that a connection is coming from dot three to uh, basically from dot three to this uh, this private IP which is the the private network of this host and also you will see that the there's a connection going from this guy like 17.0.1 to 17.0.2 so in this case 17.0.1 is actually the bridge network or the gateway to the container which is like the container that we created first which is the bridge nginx container the reason why I'm showing all this is uh, you know you this is how actually the the network address translation happens uh, port mappings are happening right so this is actually like there is some work happening behind the scenes to establish your connection right uh, you know in this case actually I'm just doing a telnet but then it could be like one container communicating to another container right let's say on your host uh, on the docker host there's like a bunch of containers and there's a lot of port mappings and network address translations going on there's a lot of uh, network operations or network workload actually so that can slow down your uh, network uh, network connectivity right so in that case actually what you would do is you could actually create a container uh, which is on the host network rather than bridge network the way you do that is by using this command 
uh, docker run command and then based on nginx image name is whatever in this case I'm using host nginx and then it's based on the host actually host network so I'm going to go ahead and create it and the first thing I want you to see about this is if I run the same docker inspect uh, host nginx uh, you will see that like, basically this is the network section and this is host uh, network configuration and first of all there is no private IP address and uh, if I do a um, and it doesn't have a gateway or anything but then if I do a IP address show you will see that um, there's two virtual networks but then one was created for my bridge bridge nginx container another one was created for my uh, busy box container and uh, then uh, if I now if I just do uh, another telnet connection using 80 port because in that in this case actually when I created my host the container on the host network I did not do any port mappings even if I specify like port mappings all the all those uh, things will be ignored uh, by docker because it doesn't it is invalid so the port 80 of this container is mapped to 80 of the docker host vm actually right so if i just do a telnet and then private ip of this host and then 80 the connection is established and then if i just do a a network i'm sorry net start minus tn as usual you will see that i have a connection coming from 03 to 20380 actually okay, this is the inbound and this is the foreign address and then you don't see any like um, redirect or network address translation happening here and and this is why actually like host networking is a, a bit more uh, sort of like optimal than bridge network or host network is better than bridge network in that way uh, that said um, there is not that many use cases where you would need to use multiple ports um, on the same machine right so that's a very rare use case that's uh, to summarize uh, basically let's go back to my slides and it's available only on Linux host it does not get get its own private network or private IP when you have like a container that's on host network and then it's used when you need to optimize network performance and when you need to handle a large number of ports uh, that's when you use like docker host networking okay and that's the end of the video and i hope you liked it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please like share and comment as well if you really really liked it and you or you have any questions or uh, you find any mistakes in my video because I am learning just like you guys. Keep learning and then keep rocking. Bye.